topic. Uh, sorry, sorry. That's okay. I'm just like, uh, <laughs> having some oh, yeah. um, Maybe uh, I, I will just do a short introduction about uh, sure. you, so if I can. Oh, it's okay. All right. Um, Flower is an organizer in the Python Indonesia. Uh, she involved herself in Python Indonesia in 2018, and she will take part in this year's Python Indonesia as well. And she is interested in Python, data, and her cat. She is using Python as a hobby and learning, and she also loves Eagle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she is going to talk about this topic uh, because that, like uh, in 2016, when she joined Python Indonesia, she realized that women's presence in group is up is almost zero, and is uh, very contributing to the pres their presence on uh, their online presence. So many attempts at attracting them and up their reach. So now she left Wondering the reason for her hiding. I think then this is a big problem. So I think that. She's going to talk about something uh, to me is very interesting. So uh, I'll just turn the control over to Val. Thank you. Uh, if you ask me about uh, why I talk about this one, because of why not? We learn from mistakes anyway. Uh, okay, uh, short uh, introduce. Uh, I'm Farah. I'm organizer of Python Indonesia, also for uh, another group as called AWS User Group Indonesia. I'm the lead. Uh, um, my background is not. Uh, I'm not coming from tech. Uh, tech background. I was former international relations student, and I'm using Python just for fun. And I love cat too much. I have 20 at home. And, and yes, we welcome everyone. Uh, you can join our blog, GitHub, Meetup, Telegram, and Facebook page. You can take a picture right here before I start this. Mm, for we also have a monthly meetup, and then uh, for Telegram we have around eleven thousand members right now, and still counting. <laughs> so, what is diversity? Diversity is the concept of encompasses acceptance and respect. So it's not about, uh, we respect all people who join our community, whether you a man, a, a man, a woman, or maybe just a kid, you're welcome. And it's a nice picture, uh, this is me when I joined Python Indonesia in 2016, I was, oh, I was the only one in front of the boys. And then I started wondering myself why why I why I didn't meet uh, any women in offline meetup when I can uh, easily find them in online meetup online groups. So this is uh, a problem that I have uh, I've gathered when uh, in my first year of maintaining a Python community as uh, I have to give you a notice that building community that accepts everyone in every aspect is not easy. So the first one is less respect. Uh, maintaining community uh, can uh, can bring you to uh, emotional harm because too much ego, right? And then uh, bullying, harassment comments, just like uh, I have a case when some uh, a lady give a, give a, her material to the group, and some uh, just someone some men said, uh, "Why are you here?" Just go back to the kitchen and serve the the man. It's good, I know. And programming are for men only mindset, which is not true, because right here in front of you, I'm also a programmer, so there's no limitations for 
ladies to learn tech, to learn programming, you are welcome. And yes, uh, community in Indonesia is very uh, not much about female programming community. So I currently maintain for general like this. So when men and ladies can come up to meet the others. So with all these problems, I start to think about what can I do for attract them. So the first step is celebrate Women's Day. We have a special meetups for women so they can show about uh, what actually they what they want, what they want to share, what they want to give back to community, and then we bring her along so they feel safe to come to come in our next meetup. And also not just to bring her along, but we involve them to take part of community. So to make sign that. This is a uh, even this is a, this is a general group. They welcome to go, and we are support a local woman in tech groups just like uh, women tech makers, uh, and then by ladies, so they can keep grow and fast and can can make a think contribution to community, and also. Uh, this is uh, quite interesting. Uh, we start connect with the young. Actually, uh, there's only one community who focus who being focused with uh, teenager, uh, named girl girl generation. Uh, and then, this is very important. Speak up, not just for any men and also for women. If you don't speak up, or what is your problems being involved in community? Let us know and we will find the solution of this problem and yes respect to others if you don't respect with others the community will be dead soon and the result finally we have moments involved in in the next uh, next year is it around 27 or 2018 uh, for uh, re we grow uh, not so fast with uh, from other Python communities around Southeast Asia, and then yeah, we have another woman who join us in this session. As this one, we have a uh, meet up with Shopee as well, and we have a uh, you seeing there's a woman right there, and this is a. Uh, 2018 uh, that we celebrate Women's Day. But why? <laughs> uh, special with, uh, for this Women's Day, uh, we open the meetup not just for women, also for the men. And this is a good one. Uh, the, uh, the women group, they're not feel afraid. And women's uh, women's day right here that I help with others uh, is all women involved in speakers, uh, MC, and anything. Oh, short announcement! Uh, in November twenty third, uh, we have PyCon Indonesia held in Surabaya. Uh, any questions due to PyCon Indonesia, you can ask me or. One gentleman who use white shirt and glasses. Okay, I think that's all. I can uh, I keep it short. So let's stop. If you have any questions, you can drop your questions to here or ask me directly. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Yes, and then I think so. Any questions so far? Yes. Okay, one question. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I want to ask. Uh, yes. Do you have a monthly 
because we don't set any uh, thing, uh, they can... Uh, the reason why we held a monthly meetup is for they can share anything about Python. Whether you just about to start this one, or you are a pro who have problems, they can share anything in meetup. But mostly uh, we talk about uh, data and NLP. Okay, next question, please. Uh, currently, we are uh, for uh, especially with uh, women groups. Uh, it's different person who handle it soon. Uh, we are trying to connect to more Python communities uh, in outside Southeast Asia. I'm currently handling for general groups with like this. Any more questions or anybody have? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I, I just want to understand uh, how is the uh, what kind of uh, in the in the in the community like Python right for for in the in the online stuff the online forum right? Mm -hmm. How do you think that the the, the environment that uh been safe or been uh what call it uh for for women to get involved? Is it for example uh should uh uh for example we don't emphasize on gender, for example, in the in the in the community, in the discussion, for example. So do you think that will make a woman more uh, uh, more feel more safe to be participate in the discussion? Or, or what what kind of environment do you, do you, do you, do you think safe for women? Uh, for safe environment for women, but we have a uh, as organizer. We have to say very clearly that this group is very welcome to everyone, uh, also with the girls. And besides, we state it clearly. We have to give a positive signs for it. Just like uh, I'm handling Telegram group with uh, with 11k members, and there's a lot of uh, men who say, "Why there's a woman here?" Even even I, uh, I'm as organizer. I get uh, I get a certain stuff, just like uh, this fat woman. This one. So, for those comments like that, I have to eliminate and talk talk to personally what's wrong. Uh, I think it's all okay. Not too much. For uh, very, we gave a uh, actual example of a uh, woman involvement to Python community, so they uh, they understand that both women and men are same. I think uh, that's our best uh, solution for now to create a good environment for not just for men but also for women. Thank you for doing this talk. Uh, yeah, it's a really, really important 
to do. And I think one of the reasons that the online is so much more popular yeah. is it's safer, it's mm -hmm. more controlled, and even if the organizers of a meetup genuinely want to be welcoming to everybody, it doesn't mean that everybody who attends the meetup is the same way. And what we found in San Diego was what finally worked was having a team of organizers that were many different genders and mm -hmm. posting code of conduct on the wall, you know, on either side of the door when folks came in. And instead of the women having to correct people that perhaps are saying something that isn't appropriate to anyone, the guys took the leadership role in that because it's amazing how much talent is lost when people are biased against each other. Um, it happens in projects, it happens in meetups, and I think it's the talent and the learning that you can lose. I still get people on a regular basis asking, do you code? Um, you know, do you know anything about Jupiter? Um, mm. And that was after I had keynoted JupyterCon. So people make assumptions, and those assumptions leave some mark. And how you treat me is how I'm going to treat you. So I think you said it really well in the beginning, you know, the mutual respect. Thank you. Yeah. And um, just so you know for the folks, I do do small webinars, mm -hmm. like um, for women, for free, in the Python ecosystem, so I'd be happy to talk to you about it. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I actually have a question. <laughs> 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 hey, um, uh, this, is, this is more on, um, just, just to understand some intermediate details that are related to the business. Yep. Um, uh, participation from, uh, from women, in general, even men who are already having families, you know, mm -hmm. and all. Mm -hmm. what usually happens is when folks, you know, start you know, starting a family, and then afterwards a lot of challenges just goes off from the community. Uh -huh. We face that in Malaysia also. Um, I've had conversations on and off with people, uh, uh, so I'm kind of like an organizer, of, was an organizer for a community that is in Malaysia, and when I go to folks who have families, and they're like, okay, fine, we want to level up, right? We want everyone to level up because we have people who have 10 years of experience, 15 years of experience, uh, who have all this knowledge with them and they want to give it back to the community and they're busy, right? Yeah. Um, is, is, is there something in your community you're doing for, for women specifically? Uh, like, you know, trying to bring in all this, uh, um, the, the women who are still working, right? And then mm -hmm. they have all these families to take care of and they're able to bring it back and contribute to the community. Is, is there something that you need? Just looking for insight on that. Uh, or is that an avenue that hasn't been explored yet? Uh, for families, right? Uh, people who are already having families mm -hmm. and then getting them to come to meet up, coming to events. Uh, actually, in my journey about uh, about it, I maybe seen it's only men who and family, and they are also ask me same thing how they can contribute to a uh, community when they can con uh, they can't come uh, to offline meetup. They can only uh, they can you uh, create a webinars. So they can uh, they can stay with families and also contribute to community online webinars and then we have a uh, since we use Telegram we can have a uh, little talk lightning talks about about it in chat list. So they can yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, very good. <laughs> Not too much family. Uh, just for a of which stage of life do you think that sees the biggest drop off of women in STEM? Um, you think it's something that happens from the school? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, different genders are disadvantaged based on how tough they're taught. Mm -hmm. Or is it something where, like, in university, where that's when it's kind of serious? Or 
maybe even in the hiring process, like what do you think is the, uh, the biggest divide that you have? The biggest? Sorry? The biggest divide that you have? Uh, it's for a university one, so it's the biggest, probably the school one. Uh, actually, I can uh, I can answer your question so much because uh, I'm still <laughs> learning about it. But yeah. <laughs> it is the state of the research shows that women actually enter Banyak very high <laughs> later, <Banyak. laughs> like in their mid-20s. In very short. Typically, it's a very male-dominated field, oh, yeah. unlike some of the other sciences Computer science is about male, but actually the first programmers are women. Math, and women are like, I mean, we're talented. I we might be call it as miscommunication during so uh, men and women like I don't involvement think there's anything in community. But then later on, they realize. But in Indonesia, yeah, harassment comments and for women are not very this. much. And I want to solve the problem. I don't know. Uh, and Malaysia so or in other you countries. Know, keep encouraging people. Keep inviting But what I have learned about the Indonesia it community is about so many girls and really it's not just comments. the number of people that show up. But it's, it benefits everyone at the meetup by being inclusive and sharing knowledge. The fastest way that you can learn something is to have that somebody, like in music, you have somebody with a little more experience helping you level up. And it goes a lot quicker than if you sat alone trying to pick away the guitar, not knowing what to do. Maybe. Like no, 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 maybe this is the last because okay. someone. Um, I, I'm part of the organizers <coughs> actually. I'm not supposed to give any comment. But this group yeah, has a lot of things to say, actually, right? If you don't mind. Um, I'm the only female doing my Can practicing I? in the whole world. Um, do I feel this a bit like. Not being terrible. I, I don't really think so. I think that.